Hello art friends, today we're going to create some fun Thanksgiving cards with a little twist. We will add some personal narratives to share with the people who we're thankful for. Here you can see an example of the cards that I made. We're going to use watercolor paint to create a pumpkin and a decorative background. First we need to gather our supplies. We're going to use watercolor paint, a paintbrush, watercolor paper. This is special paper that is kind of thick and has a slightly fuzzy feeling texture to it. We also need a plastic cup with water, a pencil, a sheet of lined paper, and a pen. First, what we're going to do is paint the pumpkin. For the pumpkin body, we're going to use orange and yellow. Start by dipping your brush into the water and then into the orange paint. Remember with watercolors, you get darker colors by using less water and lighter colors by using more water. So for the body of the pumpkin, we're going to keep our brush mostly wet, but not to the point where it's dripping wet. Make sure that you dab your brush off on the paper towel in between using different colors. Unless you want to do some blending, then it's okay to dip within each color. And if you get too much of one color inside of another color, we can always clean it off a little bit by slightly dabbing it with our paper towel. We want to make the pumpkin body have a more realistic look to it by switching between the orange and the yellow for each of the segments. You may notice that each segment is a wedge shape. You can shift between adding a C to one side and a backward C to the other side, and then fill them in with the brush. Make sure that you pay attention to the angle of your brush. You want to have a more upright position when you're making the edges of the segments so you can get a crisp line. Keep adding segments until your pumpkin is the size and width that you want. Next, we're going to add use red to outline the segments. We'll give more 3D look to it and to the pumpkin. You want to dab your brush off before you use the red so that we can get a darker color, red color with less water on the brush. This will help to get a nice crisp line. Go over the edge of each segment until you've outlined the whole pumpkin. Now finish it off with a green stem. Next you get to create a background. You might want to add some vines, flowers, maybe some swirls and other fun designs that you think would make an interesting background. I decided to add a vine near the bottom and then some other fun designs around the edges. Don't forget to leave some space for words. Remember, these are thankful cards that we are going to give to some, so you might want to write something like thanks or happy Thanksgiving or thankful for you. Once you're done, set the wet card aside so it can dry. Grab your line paper and pencil next. Now we're going to write our personal narratives. Choose a time when someone special did something for you or with you that caused you to be thankful. Give this a lot of thought so that that way you can think of a really great moment to record. This is your chance to not only work on your personal narrative writing skills, but also a way to tell someone how much they mean to you in a very creative way. Use the line paper to write a draft of your narrative. This will give you a chance to practice what you want to write. It's totally okay to make mistakes or an erase, cross out, or change stuff on this copy. Make sure you read through it a couple times so it's just right for the card. Once you feel like you're finished, check to see if your card is dry. If so, use your best handwriting and copy the narrative onto the back of your card using a pen. Try to make this very neat and clear. Once you're all done, you have a fun, artsy, and thoughtful gift for the person who is in your story with you. You might want to use this as a gift on Thanksgiving to show how to, how thankful you are for this person. Thank you guys for taking time to make some art with me today. Feel free to share pictures of your artwork with us via email and we can post them on our website. Have a wonderful and thankful day.